I need a bracelet. Um, yeah, I don't need a bracelet. Oh, how do I start this? No. Guys, I have something to address. Now, I'm not sure if I'm like the only person like this, but knowing me, I probably am. I lose everything. And I have a list here. I know I always have lists for my videos, but I always forget. So uh, here's my list. And it could go on, but I just narrowed it to down to 10 things. That's what I have. 10. Now, this is not in any particular order, but I do believe number one is the one I lose the most. And I lost it right now. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. <sighs> my phone. Let me tell you, I got some damn issues that I keep losing this phone. Now, I won't lose anyone else's phone, like if you tell me to hold your phone, I will hold it and I'll take care of it and I won't lose it, but my phone, it's just like, what the hell? Oh, don't forget that there. I've even found my phone to be in the refrigerator. I'm not kidding, just chilling in there, I guess. I've lost my phone even when it was in my back pocket. I lose it on the floor, on the desk, on the table, on my couch. Basically anywhere I go, I will lose my phone. Even out in public, I'll be eating dinner, I'll leave my phone on the table, which is probably is, is probably rude, but I leave my phone on the table, um, and I just walk up and just go, and I'm like, oh crap, that was my phone, where's my phone? And then I start panicking, and then I'm like, oh, it's somewhere stupid. I found it. And I tend to automatically assume that someone terrible stole it. But hopefully that won't happen someday. Because knowing me, I'll lose everything. So when I'm in school or just studying in general, um, I freak out when I lose my pen or pencil. I look everywhere for the pen and pencil. I look behind the book, in front of the book, on my desk, on the ground, on my lap, in my hand. No, no, no. It's right in between the pages of the book. Way to go, Steph. And you look like a complete idiot while you're trying to look for it. Way to go. Number three. I find these everywhere, because I lose them, and then I find them like, I don't know, I just appear out of nowhere. Guitar picks. I would find guitar picks in my pocket, in my purse, probably my t-shirts and the sleeves, in my jacket. Um, anywhere in my fridge on the floor and if I leave them on the floor they'll probably get stuck to my bare foot and I'll walk around and that's how it gets all over the house and that's why I always need to buy freaking new guitar picks but then again you never know when you need them because a musician always has to be ready before girls have to agree with this I don't know guys maybe you do but I always tend to lose my lip gloss and chopsticks I don't know what happens to them. They just disappear. Same with bobby pins and hair ties. They just are gone. They grow legs and they just leave you. Because they don't like you. But they want to be free. Number five. I know this is a very common one, I think, but I lose the remote. There's like five or I don't know how many remote controls on the table and I'm like, oh great, which one? So I finally picked the right one, then realize it's the wrong one, and then sit it down somewhere. And then I pick up the right one, I set it down to go get some popcorn or something, and I come back and I'm like, where did I put it? So I'll start looking for it, I start looking like a freak again, and voila, I ask my mom, she finds it. She finds everything. Number six. Very, very, very sad when this happens that I lose my chargers. I will lose any kind of charger camera charger, phone charger, laptop charger, every kind of charger, then I freak out when it's at 2%. It kind of feels like I've committed a crime because I'm letting my uh, devices die and I'm just there like, <gasps> where's my charger? Number seven, I buy so many pairs of sunglasses and I manage to lose them. I either forget them somewhere, or just lose them in my room, or forget them in a purse. I never know where they are, and when I need them, when it's actually like bright sunny outside, I don't know where my sunglasses are. 
and I have like specific ones for specific outfits. Now if I don't find those ones, I freak out. I'm like, no, I can't wear these. So then I just go outside without any sunglasses and I'm blind. Bam. Number eight. Um, don't do this, kids. Uh, in case you haven't known, I've learned this the hard way. Textbooks are freaking expensive, like $80. And when you get to college, they're like probably $200. And you can't afford to lose them, trust me. I've lost textbooks and I had to pay for them, so um, I'd rather, I don't like online versions of textbooks, but I don't like actual textbooks because I lose them, so please just give me a copy of the paper of the textbook like a first grader would probably have done, first graders don't have textbooks, but like probably like sixth grader teacher copies what's in the book and just hands it to you and that's what I need. I don't need an actual textbook because one, they're heavy, two, I lose them, and then three, I don't like the internet textbook. So don't lose textbook Stephanie. You're gonna go broke like that. Number nine. No, that's not nine. I can't do this. Nine? No, no. Nine? There you go. Coins. They just appear everywhere. I do have a piggy bank. Uh, well, mine's more like a sheet bank, but it's still. Uh, but I still tend to find them everywhere on the floor, in the car, in my locker, in my book bag, in my bags, and I'm just like, psh, you're rich. But sorry, you're only rich in coins. But let me just say, they add up pretty quickly, but they don't add up quickly when you lose them all over the place, and you can't put them in one place because you suck at it. You lose everything. You lose, you lose the pennies, you lose the quarters, you lose the dimes, you lose everything. Everything. Just gone. You're broke now. Congratulations. Your mother always told you, every penny counts. Number 10. Socks. It's these kind of socks. And this. Socks. My camera's gonna die, so let's do it. Okay, let me bet. If battery dies. <laughs> my socks. I never have the matching pair, and it's really frustrating, and I don't know what to do, ever. So, I just wear different socks. But today, I'm wearing matching socks. Yay me! So that concludes this video. I hope you relate to some of the things I lose. Or maybe you're a lucky person who knows where every single thing is, and I'm, I'm jealous of you. I wish I'd not lose so many things. But I do, so I'm just gonna have to learn to deal with it, and I'm going to go. Let's go, bye, peace.